Hey, what's up everybody? BDO44 coming at you another video. Alright, so I figured I'd do a therapy session to say, hey, Merry Christmas to everybody. Touchdown. Uh, since I hadn't done a therapy session in a couple of days, usually I have these days so many different important things or rather heavy things or what have you to say or something that would wake me up at 4 in the morning and I want to talk. This isn't that. Uh, this is just Merry Christmas. Touching down saying that I've had a pretty good day, man. Uh, oh, really good day, actually. It's just been very peaceful. I had a chance to speak with my family, uh, my, my uncle and my grandfather. Uh, got a chance to speak with my sister. Just spoke with my brother right now on uh, via Instagram. And just connecting with people, you know. For me, it's been isolation for a long time, away from folks, without any, you know, explanation and stuff like that. So reaching out for me is a bit, it's a bit different this year. You know, it's just a different... Uh, way for me to kind of go about handling myself in regards to things I'm already a person that anybody that knows me well enough knows that I mean very well but I'm not very traditional when it comes to certain things I need to be much better uh, at sending gifts and reaching out I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not the person that's going to be the one that you say oh he was the greatest gift giver no, no I wasn't at least not up to this point in my life hopefully I get better but you know, it's, I've had people be great toward me in that way, man. And I really appreciate all of them. The example they've shown to let me know that I need to be better in that way. It's because I've had some great folks. So, you know, that was just a continued understanding there. That uh, that I'm continued to be blessed with great people. Um, that reach out and that I'm able to speak with and reach out to as well. And so, the day started off right. Speaking, out, speaking to people that I'm... Um, you know, very close to, and, and just making sure they were good, praying, and doing my routine, but I think what I was most happy about is just how how happy I was to do art, because as of late, I say over the last two months, maybe even three months, I really hadn't felt like doing art very much. It started falling into a routine. I started seeing some of my pieces become repetitive. I just felt like I'd reached a, a space where I'd gotten everything I needed from it from a day to day I need to do this standpoint you know I was fighting depression and fighting different thoughts and things like that trying to sort through and and also trying to fight through uh, an off season with the Lakers not doing anything <laughs> you know what I mean so it was just like I need this art to kind of get get me through it and so it did but today at Christmas Day and I guess for the last week or so I've really kind of leaned back into it and I think today was the most organic enjoyable art day I've had in months and when I say enjoyable I mean it was effortless it was like I was barely even feeling like I was doing pieces and all the pieces came out as well as I wanted them to which is rare you know sometimes you, you'll have a good time and the arts won't be that good but this is one of the days where I really felt like the time that I took off away from it almost is like a decom it's almost like a breathing mechanism to where you spend so much time on something and you retreat take just enough time away from it and then when you come back it's almost like it's almost like the uh the time away helped refine what it is that you had built over the uh, repetition of being at it so often you know what i mean you get to a point where it's just like i need to get away from this let my mind do something else and then when i come back to it it's almost like I'm better, you know, and I think that's what it was. So that was ultimately a great experience for me. And uh, sorry about that, but this is a neighborhood. I don't even really react to noise anymore, but hopefully they silence that very soon. But all in all, you know, this is one of those situations where I just had a really good day. And, uh, you know, after kind of going through that hard process, the Lakers gave us a bad game, which gave me a lot of fun. Uh, content to make there for myself and hopefully for you guys to enjoy if you decide to click on it uh, but you know it, this is one of those videos where uh, I didn't really have anything poignant to say and since the noise is doing that I'll probably cut it short but I did want to ask <clears throat> everybody to just have a fantastic holiday season and to just know that um, you know it, you guys have made it a lot better for me this year as well dealing with my own self and having different things go on to have this channel to turn to and to have the laker channel um 
have it all in one place. You know, a lot of people, I'm sure, click on certain things that are like, this is not the Lakers. And so I know it makes sense to separate the different topics. And, and I think maybe one day as I organize this whole thing, I might uh, look to, to do that in a more structured and, 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 and way. But to be honest with you, I don't care to. I think I think doing it this way comes organic, just like my art. You know, it's, it's all done a certain way. And I think because it's done a certain way, it'll be it'll be in its own lane. It'll be found a certain way. It'll be received a certain way. I think. And so that's what I'm hoping to have happen. I don't really care to uh, to do anything any other way. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. For Christmas, all I wanted for Christmas was pretty much what I had, man. A good day. A good relationship with God, good relationship with family members, a uh, good relationship with self, you know, positive mindset, which I think I had, a determined mindset, you know, I think that was also a big one for me because uh, growing up over the years, you know, just being con complacent in certain ways, particularly with my fitness growing up, uh, today was one of those days where I really felt lazy minded in terms of working out. I pushed myself all week long. Uh, muscles are tired, that kind of thing. I just didn't have it. But I forced myself to push myself very, very hard for the energy that I had. So I'm not going to sit up here and say I, I, I went crazy, but I pushed myself to the limit I, I could give it. You know what I mean? I was really, 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 really struggling. So uh, that's a good thing. You know, usually my body usually gets good results from days like this. When I push myself this on days like this, Usually I'm in bed the next day and then I'll find the strength uh, that I was looking for from the recovery from that. So hopefully we can we can we can see some more results and continue to grow in that way as well, man. Mind, mind body and spirit. That's what it's all about. So, yeah, that's how my day went. Good meals, too. Very good meals. For whatever reason, the food just seemed to taste better. So I was very thankful for that. So, yeah, just blessed all the way around. I hope you guys also had a fantastic um, Christmas Day if you celebrate Christmas if not hopefully the day went well anyway and uh, yeah man that's what it's about just enjoying yourselves and, and and not letting anything bring you down not noise not losses not anything because this is a day where we celebrate um, you know the reason for the season for, for those of us who believe in it uh, we celebrate Christ's birthday so that's the reason for the season and my mom would be remiss if I didn't mention that in this camera she would she would really be upset at me. She's like, make sure they know the reason for the season. So that's what it is. Uh, bringing, bringing your families together as well, you know. People that you love and stuff like that is a chance for you to reunite. People you haven't spoken to in a while, exchange gifts, let people know you care about them, stuff like that. It's a big deal. And a lot of times it gets perverted by money stuff. And it's kind of warped, I guess you can say, by just the way people can be. Uh around the holiday season, you know, how, how opportunists tend to act around the holiday season. But uh, at the end of the day, good, I believe, prevails. I, I'm a firm believer in goodness will prevail. And uh, you just got to put your head down and, and do what it is that's right. And I think when you do so, um, good things fall into place from there. So I guess that's what I got to say, man. BDL 44, I thank you all for watching. I'm out.